What is Cricket's World Cup? What's the biggest, best tournament that is in the sport of cricket? How does it even work? So I'll be honest, I was about to watch a highlight reel of a game. After watching a few videos now and reacting to them of cricket, I was thinking, well, I know enough about the game now, especially with the comments that you give, kind of more detail or examples or players or teams about cricket there's still some things that i'm fuzzy about and that's where this video comes in what is cricket get to know the sport so it's a shorter video but it's hopefully kind of the basics again just to make me really understand them i could ask a couple more questions and then i want to get into kind of a highlights of of games kind of like the short 10 minute version of a match and try to understand that i'm going to try to find a good match if you have suggestions let me know and I'll try to find it. So what is cricket? How is it played? How is it scored? Maybe they'll talk about the teams and players, but let's just get into it. So once again, thank you for all the previous comments. Yes, I need this. Cricket is a sport that is played by millions and loved by yes. billions of people from all corners of the globe. Crick you know, that was one thing that I was amazed about. I knew it was pretty big, but I didn't know it was that. I didn't know how truly massive the sport of cricket is. I just thought it was eh, in a couple parts of the world, and, you know, it's pretty big there. But it is a very, very big and well-known sport. So I am learning. I'm blown away. Cricket has been played for centuries with the first international match occurring way back in 1844. Woo. From that time, it has continued to develop into the vibrant and exciting modern game that is played today. Mm -hmm. Cricket is a batting yeah. ball sport that involves two teams with 11 players on each side. The aim of the game is to score more runs than the opposition. One player, the bowler, bowls a hard leather ball at speeds of up to 150 kilometers per hour. All right, but that, the bowler, and just this whole thing is so, so fun to watch. So, like, look at him. Like, that that's crazy to me of what he could do. That, that was another video that I almost watched of different ways they could throw the ball to do all sorts of crazy things. But that is just one part of the game. Very, very uh, intricate and interesting. As a player from the opposing team, who then attempts to hit it with a bat in order to score runs. Cricket is played on an oval-shaped field and in the middle of that field is the pitch, which is where most of the action takes place. At either end of the pitch, you'll find these things. They're called mm -hmm. wickets, mm -hmm. and they're made yep. up of yep. three wooden stumps that support two bales. They're important, but we'll come back to them shortly. The batting team has two batters at a time in play, whilst the fielding side has all 11 players on the field. A batter scores runs in two ways. One. They hit the ball far enough that it crosses the outer boundary of the field. Okay. If the ball has bounced, it's worth four runs. Oh. Wow. If it clears the boundary on the full, it's worth six, the maximum number of runs that can be scored from one hit. Okay, well, I'm sure they said some of those in the previous <laughs> videos, but uh, pretty much what we call as a baseball player, uh, I did play for only one year, but that would be pretty much a home run and you get your point or if some people are on the base. But this one, you get six points. That is fantastic. Two. Through the two batters running the length of the pitch in opposite directions whilst the fielders are retrieving the ball. One length of the pitch completed equals one run. Yes. Okay. The aim for the fielding side is to restrict the number of runs scored by the batting side whilst trying to get the batter out. There are 11 different ways a batter can be out, with the most common being bold. The bowler bowls the ball, the batter misses it or deflects it by accident, it hits the stumps and the bales come off. Caught, the batter... If you play or have played cricket, that must be a gut-wrenching feeling. Your heart just drops when that happens. If you deflect it and it goes and hits it and you're out, that must... that, that would... Um... Not be a fun time. The hits the ball, and one of the fielders catches it before it hits the ground. Amazing. Leg How? before wicket, LBW. Exactly what the name suggests. The bowler bowls the ball, the batter misses it, and the ball hits them on the leg in line with the stumps. 
run out. The batter hits the ball and runs, but the fielding team retrieve the ball and throw it to the stumps before either batter has reached the other end. Nice throw, nice throw. When a batter's out, they leave the field of play and another teammate replaces them. Once all the batters on a team are out, the sides swap and the fielding team then have their turn to bat and attempt to beat the overall score set by the first batting team. Wow. Put simply, the winner is the team with the most runs after both sides have batted. <laughs> Okay, dumb question. That's the end of the video. What is Cricket's World Cup? What is their example of a World Cup? What's the biggest, best tournament that is in the sport of cricket? And when does it happen? Does it? How does it even work? Does it change countries? Like the, kind of like the World Cup as well, where it might be it might be in India one year, and the next year it's in Australia, and the next year, and so on and so forth. Is it like that? But this was good. I uh, I needed kind of a refresher before I actually dive into a game. Sorry for the lot of questions, but it does seem interesting. Really, really excited to keep learning about the sport compared to, you know, me growing up with baseball. This one looks like there's more happening, more action. It's not so you just sit around for what we call innings. A lot of the game and nothing really happens. So thank you for all the comments as always. Give me anything else you can on cricket and give suggestions of very good games that I should watch. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time and have a uh, good rest of your day.